A few things to keep in mind for general algebra or just algebra problems. First, whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other side. Second, to move anything from one side of the equation to the other, you must use the opposite operation. So, opposite of addition would be subtraction, multiplication would be division, and if you're doing squared on one side, the opposite side would be squaring it. So let's go into a few examples to illustrate these points. Now, if I have 3x minus 4 equals 2x plus 10, my first step will be to get all my variables together and get all my constants together. So in order to bring this 2x to the left side, I need to subtract 2x from here, and that means I have to subtract 2x from here as well. And the reason I subtracted it, because over here this is a positive 2x, and the opposite operation would be a minus 2x. And over here, since I'm subtracting 2x over here, I have to subtract 2x over here as well. This leaves me with 3x minus 2x just as x minus 4 equals 2. Now, in order to bring this 4 to the other side, since this is a minus 4, I need to add 4 here, and I need to add 4 here, which leaves me with x equals 6. Now, let's take it to another style of problem. Now, if I have 7a minus 4, 4b equals 4, and the value of a is 8b over 7, we have to try to figure out what the value of b will be. Since the question tells me that the value of a is 8b over 7, instead of the a, I can substitute that with 8b over 7, which would mean 7 times 8b over 7 minus 4b equals 4 you can cancel out the 7 over here with this 7 which leaves us with 8b minus 4b equals 4 and 4b equals 4 since I'm multiplying the 4 over here with the b opposite of multiplication is division I'm going to divide it by 4 divided by 4 which is going to leave with b equals 1 and the last one I have here is cross multiplication 1 over x plus 2 equals 3 over 5. In order to solve for this, I have to multiply this denominator with 3 up here and this 5 with the 1 over here. So when I multiply x plus 2 times 3, I have 3 times x plus 2. And I have to multiply this 5 by the 1, which will just give me 5 times 1, 5. I need to distribute the 3 here, distribute the 3 here as well, which leaves me with 3x plus 6 equals 5. I have to subtract the 6 here, and if I'm subtracting the 6 here, I subtract the 6 here as well, which leaves me with 3x equals negative 1. 3 is being multiplied by x. In order to get rid of the 3 and leave x by itself, I need to do the opposite operation, divide by 3, divide by 3 is 3 over here as well, which leaves me with x equals negative 1 over 3.